Charles Townsend lives in America, North America, that is. I love Grove, and the reason I love Grove because uh, it's, it really is a beautiful place. But Charles only came to the United States when he was 12. That's because he was born in another America, South America. I was born out there on the, on the jungles of Tapajós River, though. I always get people's attention every time I say this, you know. His family lived in Brazil, where he was brought up by still another America. O Charles, ele era, ele era magrinho, sabe? Charles in America lived in a town created by one of the inventors of the American century. Henry Ford invented, or was the, uh, the architect of, perhaps more than any other individual, the American century, uh, American power and American uh, sort of placement in the world uh, in, in uh, the 20th century. I think people think of Henry Ford as the person who made cars possible for most people. In the 20s, Ford was suffering due to England's monopoly over the worldwide trade of rubber. E o que aconteceu? Aconteceu que o Ford tinha que ir atrás de uma solução para esse problema e foi induzido a vir produzir a sua matéria-prima aqui na Amazônia, da onde saíram as seringueiras que deram origem aos seringais da Malásia da Inglaterra. The Amazon is the biggest rainforest on the planet, with an area spanning over 6 million square kilometers. Ford was granted a concession to exploit one one thousandth of this area, a huge 10,000 square kilometer estate. In 1928, Henry Ford placed an entire disassembled town in the hold of two vessels and sent them to the middle of the Amazon forest. Henry Ford brought a city from the United States to Fort Lunger, out in the middle of nowhere. Fortlandia was one of the most prosperous towns in America. I mean, South America. Água encanada, tratada, luz elétrica, um bom salário, assistência médica, escola para o filho. Se tu imaginar isso no final de, da década de 20 do século passado na Amazônia, onde não existia escola, onde não existia hospital, não existia médico. But its inhabitants had to live as if they were in the other America, North America. Many of them didn't get used to it and left town. Entrar num esquema de produção, de unidade industrial, de escala, como a Ford, é impossível. O Amazônida que tinha o peixe no rio, a caça na mata. Ele vai lá e caça, ele vai lá e pesca, ele planta mandioca, tem a farinha. Ele tinha um ritmo estabelecido pela própria natureza. They can't stand it, they can't take it. Less than 20 years after its arrival, Ford abandoned the project and Fordlandia. A gente não sabe dizer por que que eles foram embora, né? Leaving America behind. For many years, America dreamed about meeting little Charles again. A gente não deixa de sentir uma saudade, né? Now, Charles Townsend is living in North America. So what to expect when I go to Fordlandia? Honestly, I don't know. He's bound for South America to re-encounter another America. Dona America. <laughs> we'll travel to the past to know the story of Fordlandia. Enquanto Ford trabalhou, não admitiu um preto, Marcia. An unknown story in South America. Faz parte da memória nacional. A forgotten story in North America. O americano tenta esconder os seus fracassos. A story that changed the life of a young America.
a story that has much to tell about the American century. Você pode ter a maior tecnologia, você pode ter a maior corporação, mas se ela ignorar a história e a geografia do lugar, ela vai cometer erros primários. Thank you.